Star Wars Dark Forces short video game review. You take on the role of the mercenary for the Rebel Alliance, Kyle Katarn, who gradually uncovers the Dark Trooper project, which is constructing these battle droids and building power armor and jetpacks for stormtroopers, which gives you a hint as to what some of the boss battles might just be. This is challenging even on the easiest difficulty setting and it really feels like Star Wars, complete with music, locations, even some characters and there are times where it gets pretty fan servicey. It you know it plays somewhat like Doom, albeit there are several features that were uncommon to the first person shooters of this time, including looking up looking up and down which you do with keys on the keyboard, but which is actually, once you get used to it, fairly comfortable. The, the levels can get really big and some are real mazes. You know, you'll, you'll press a lot of buttons and find a lot of secret areas and such. There are a lot of secret bases where you blow them up and or you find a, an important clue as to what's going on with the Dark Troopers. The game also features, in addition to the 10 weapons and the 20 enemy types, it has some aspects which are not specifically for combat, including your headlamp and infrared goggles, which are really useful for seeing in the dark, and there are a number of dark areas. and yeah, a couple of others, and you'll want to save the batteries for those. The levels tend to be really cool and memorable and very varied as well. The enemies include a number of the ones you meet in the movies, including stormtroopers and imperial officers of separate ranks. And you, you know, you have some really cool guns, including you know, the Stormtrooper rifle, several submachine gun, assault rifle type weapons, alternate fire on some, which includes one that has a, you know, at least one that has a shotgun like firing mode. And you can place mines either with a fuse or proximity. The same goes for thermal detonators, you know, either blowing up on contact or thrown with a short fuse. You know, there's a grenade launcher. Yeah. It's a really cool game that really captures Star Wars and puts you in the shoes of a Han Solo-ish character. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.